many tourists are too many? A hundred snorkelers on the water's surface and a whale shark down below. The world's biggest fish comes to the flat coral reef to eat. It's one of the Maldives' main tourist attractions. Every year, a million vacationers come here in search of paradise. Coral reefs are among the Earth's most species-rich ecosystems and among the most fragile. Marine biologist Amir Abdullah works for the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. He wants to protect the reef from things like climate change, sewage, overfishing, and tourists walking on the reef. The reef's arch enemy is man. There's a, an Asian proverb that says, you know, tourism is, or tourism is like a fire. Uh, you can cook your dinner with it, or it can burn your house down. So I think it's a double-edged sword. You know, tourism can be very positive, or um, it can be very negative. The hotels working with the IUCN project, House Reef, want tourism that benefits the reef. The German manager of Reti Beach Hotel is a trailblazer. Denise Schmidt and her team want to guard and protect the island's reef. An IUCN marine biologist being trained by Abdullah will help. First of all, of course we're acting in our own interest. The reef, the island, is a privilege for us and we naturally have to see that we protect it. The tourists come to dive. But if there's nothing here anymore, then they won't come. For the next three years, marine biologist Barbara Gagatza will monitor the condition of the reef just off the island. And she'll provide information on the fragile coral to interested tourists like Bernhard Aix. As a long-time diver, I've become more careful in recent years. But every new bit of information increases awareness that as a diver, you have to be more careful with the environment. Where are the unique coral species and where is the reef endangered? Grazia and Abdullah are creating maps and management plans. They hope the project will make the reef less susceptible. The coral reefs are exactly like human beings in many ways. If uh, they are healthy and they're not stressed by local impacts, then they'll be able to resist the impacts of climate change. And if our programs are successful, coral reefs will then have uh, the best uh, potential to recover from these impacts.